Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 and today we're just going to finish off making the tomahawk and test it out. Let's jump in straight where we left off and I just finished attaching the tomahawk head to the aluminium handle. So this is what it looks like once I've done that and I think it looks really cool now with the bladed edge here and then the bladed edge here. And also how shiny it is now just after using 120 grit sandpaper looks much better than it did before. So I've drawn out the rough handle shape of what I want the rest of the handle to look like on the aluminium here and then it's going to slide into this slot and be bolted on with lots of bolts and pins on along here and the reason that I've done that instead of just having these two pieces continuing all the way down although that would be a little bit stronger it would also use up a lot more aluminium and this sheet of aluminium was quite expensive and I need it for another project as well. So I've cut out the basic shape and even though it's still got quite a big bird edge on it still feels pretty good even when I'm just tapping it off stuff and it's not even shaped. So now using files and sandpaper I'm going to then deburr all of the edges on the aluminium so that then they're flat and they're not jagged and then I'm also going to smooth them out with the sandpaper. So once that's been done this is what it looks like when it's attached on the handle. This isn't actually attached yet, I've just slid it into the slot. The handle's not quite as long as the wooden one was but it's still pretty long and it feels quite comfortable when you hold it on the bottom and there's going to be quite a good reaching distance still. So now I'm just going to use these pliers and I'm going to use the wire cutting part of them just to chop these pins off about a millimetre from the surface. Just like that. So now I'm just going to take a small hammer and I'm going to start to knock all of these nails in and I'm going to try and mushroom out the edges and kind of use them like rivets so that they can never come out. So once it's done on this side, this is what it looks like and I've hammered it all the way down and the backs of the nails on this side are holding it back here. So now I'm going to use this drill bit here to drill through all three layers of aluminium twice in two different places so that then I can put in two screws. Here I'm just using a regular drill press just for ease of use but a normal hand drill could also be used. I ended up drilling three holes and as always the holes on the back always need to be deburred. Also, it doesn't matter that all of the paint is kind of chipped off on the back here because hopefully I'm going to wrap most of this part in 550 cord. So I've then screwed on these bolts very tightly and made a ton of scratches, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to cover this in 550 cord. And then I've also screwed them on as tightly as I can and I've done the ones up here. And I've then cut them off and filed them flat so they're even on both sides. And now the blade is absolutely solid in, there's no way that it's going to wobble and this handle part is attached very tightly as well and you can just hit stuff with it already even though the handle's quite sharp still and it doesn't move and it doesn't really hurt that much either. So now to make the handle look better and feel a bit more comfortable I've glued on some 6mm mahogany wood either side and this mahogany is very strong and I found it down my garden just in an old plank of wood and I'm gluing it on with some strong two part epoxy which is 24 hour set. So once the epoxy is set, it's time to start rasping and shaping the mahogany so that it's flush with the aluminium handle. For removing the large parts of wood, I'm going to be using a hand saw, and then for removing smaller parts of wood, I'm just going to be using a rasp. Once that's done and the basic shape has been achieved, I'm then going to go to over to my belt sander with an 80 grit belt on and then refine it so that it's completely flush with the aluminium. This is also going to get out any deep scratches made by the rasp or by the hand saw. So this is what it looks like once I've roughly shaped most of the mahogany to the outline of the aluminium handle. Now I'm just going to start to curve the handle so that it feels much more comfortable in my hand. So to do this I'm just going to be using a wood rasp and I could do this with the belt sander but one it would use up more belts and they're quite expensive and also I do realise that not many people have access to a belt sander so it's much more useful to them if I show how to do it with just simple hand tools that can be get bought very cheaply. So this is what it looks like after rough shaping even more and it feels pretty comfortable now but also the handle's really rough you can't see any of the nice grain that should be left behind by the mahogany wood so I'm going to start to refine it using sanding drums and my belt sander. As I'm doing this I'm using quite high grits on the sanding drums and I'm looking to remove all of the deep scratches and gouge created by using the hand rasp so that it makes the mahogany wood very smooth and comfortable. So this is what it looks like once I've sanded it and shaped it all the way down and there's no scratches left behind by the rasp and it's quite smooth now and you can hold it and it feels really comfortable. 
So I've now marked holes for pins, which I'm going to drill all the way through the aluminium and out the other side. I'm going to drill all of these as 3.5mm holes, and then this one is a 6mm hole, and this is going to be a lanyard hole. As usual, you could also use a hand drill for this, but I'm using a drill press just for ease of use, and also to make sure that all of my holes are completely vertical. Now through the 3.5mm holes, I'm then going to super glue in some nails, which are also 3.5mm in diameter, and they're going to act as pins to stabilise the wood of the handle against the aluminium so that a large impact won't shake it off. So now these pins have been glued in and sanded down and the handle scales are on absolutely solidly. These are completely flush with the mahogany wood and you can't even feel them when you slide your hand over them. And the handle also feels really nice, but it's still a little bit rough, so now I need to sand it really fine so that you can see the grain really well. For this regular wood, sandpaper can be used, and I like to go about up to 600 grit because anything higher is going to be a little bit pointless on a project like this, unless you're going to polish it completely or cover it in polyurethane varnish. And I also like to use sanding sponges because it helps give a much more even finish. So now using a bottle of boiled linseed oil and just a normal piece of paper towel, I'm going to start to apply the oil all the way over this mahogany wood and this is going to bring out the grain, help protect the wood and also make it slightly more resistant to water. So the tomahawk is now finished, I've gone and wrapped it in some green camouflage paracord pretty tightly, this is 550 paracord and the wrap is on very tightly and it's not coming undone. Once my black paracord arrives, I might replace it with that because it'll blend in with the tactical look of this here. As you can see, I've already used it a tiny bit here and already the paint has started to peel off here. So next time, I'm definitely going to have to use some proper metal spray paint instead of the Warhammer paint that I was using earlier. I've sharpened up the blade and it's pretty sharp. Now it's time to test it out. So first, let's just test it out, testing out the aluminium bits, just splitting this tiny piece of wood. went straight through it, not a problem. Now splitting a much bigger piece of wood and I'm not sure how it's going to do. Oh, it easily went straight through it again. Now a much larger piece of wood. So now I'm just going to try and chop through these three cans. So overall that worked pretty well.
there's still some improvements that I can make on this tomahawk, like using metal paint on here instead of just Warhammer spray paint, because if you come around this side, you can see how scratched it is around this side. I also think that I'm going to replace this camouflage paracord with some black paracord so that it blends in with this bit. I can resharpen up the blade a little bit more because even though it's a pretty tough blade by some of those hard impacts onto the cans and stuff, it's been slightly blunted but it's still pretty strong. And also I think I might add a lanyard to the bottom here. I definitely need to make a sheath and if you have any more ideas on how that I can improve this tomahawk, please post them in the comments section down below because I'd really like to look for some more improvements to make to this. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have please hit the like button down below and subscribe. If you did enjoy my video you might like some of my others and you can see previews of them here if you want to find out the full videos then go to my channel and check them out.